Hey everyone. Let me know if you can hear me and see me, all right? We're gonna be doing some rainbow designs tonight. Let me know if you're joining in tonight, guys. Hope everyone's had a lovely Thursday and you're all well. I'll give it a few minutes just till a couple people join on and then we'll get going. Let me just pop this on my iPad as well so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Let me know if you can see and hear me all right. Nobody's talking to me tonight. I can't see any comments. You're shy. <laughs> so what we'll go through first is just the products that I'm going to be using tonight. For my base, I'm going to use my trusty Forget Me or Not. I use this all the time, absolutely all the time. If you don't, don't have that, you definitely need it. It's what I did for the base of all these guys. I've been having a wee play around today with some different styles of this design. And you're also gonna need some colors to work with. So I've just grabbed a variety of the different gel paints but if you guys don't have gel paints if you guys have got normal nail polish that'll be totally fine just grab whatever you've got these are a few of the ones that I'm going to be using Oh, I, tur I turned my comments off. I can see you guys now. <laughs> I thought everyone was just ignoring me. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. That's a little bit better. You can all see and hear me fine. Okay, great. So I think we'll just go ahead and get started, guys. It's going to be short and sweet tonight. And we're going to go for this little guy on the end. But as I said, if you guys want to use... Um, different colors you can this one was done using the the chrome dusts if you've got any of them handy you can go ahead and use them um, and this one was just done using the pink neon gel paint I just did a gradient with that one so up to you guys let me know if you're struggling in the comments with with what colors to use and I'll let you know hey Jess you're all right lovely hello hello Hope everyone's well. So I'm just going to begin with a base of Forget Me or Not. I'm going to keep it nice and thin to begin with. Let me know if you can see that. All right, guys, I hope you can. And I'm going to keep it nice and thin for my first coat. This is my absolute favorite, favorite nude gel this one. So I'm going to pop that into cure for 60 seconds. I just caught up with um, Danielle's live when I was practicing these designs. Did anyone else see it? The, the umbrellas, the chrome umbrellas. It was so cute. As part of our whatever the weather week. There's been loads of good entries on the pages. You all enjoying our challenges. Hey Mandy, you okay? We've had four seasons this week. It was snowing at the start of the week and then it was torrential rain for a couple of days. And today it's just been sunshine. It's actually been quite tropical to be honest. <laughs> it's been about five degrees. So it's been nice seeing the sun out. So just going in with my second coat of Forget Me or Not. 
your favourite colour as well, Jess. It's just amazing. I'm popping that in for 60 seconds. And then we'll get our little rainbow stripes on. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying them, Roxy. I hope you're well. What time is it with you right now, Roxy? You must be up really early, early-ish. So while I'm waiting that to cure, I'm just gonna go ahead and get some gel paints and pop them on my palette. How do I get my lamp to stay on when I'm doing pops, Claire? All I do is pop in my nail file, or you can pop in a glitter, just so that it hits the sensors and covers the sensors. That'll sort it out for you, Claire. 1pm, Roxy. Oh, that's all right then. A wee afternoon live for you. Okay, so... I think I might actually go in with a third layer of that. I never usually go in with three, but I've kept them very thin. And then we'll get all our paints out. So if you've got the Magpie gel paints, and that's great, because when we're doing nail art with the gel paints, because they don't have a tacky layer, you don't need to wipe in between each stage and remove that, that inhibition layer. But if you're working with your normal gel polish, that's no problem at all. The only difference is gonna be that you're gonna need to wipe out your tacky layer before you top coat and things. So I'm getting a little bit of neon pink. I'm popping that on my dish. This is such a nice pink. So that's our neon. And a little bit of the neon purple as well. That's our neon purple, so, so pretty. And that pink, that's what I mixed for that, that pink gradient one there. I just mixed it with the white, so you can get loads of different colors out of these paints. Then I've got the mint gel paint. This is one of my favorites. I'm putting way too much paint on my palette, by the way, guys. You don't need to put on anywhere near as much as that. This is our lovely mint. And what else have I got? A little bit of lavender. Really, really pretty. And then what else did I pop on this list? I think I'll put on a little bit of neon yellow as well. How beautiful is that? Getting me excited for summer. And last but not least, a little bit of neon blue as well. Okay. Just pop a little bit of blue on my palette. Okay, so these are all the different colors that we've got. Let's get that tip out of our lamp. And then we'll pop it on. So first thing that we wanna do is remove that tacky layer with our prep and dehydrate. So blue bottle prep, 
this is what we're going to use to remove that stick layer so that when we're painting it's going to make our life easier so i'm just getting a good bit of that on my cotton pad and giving that a good wipe and then i'm actually just going to give it a little buff over the top as well just so that it's going to make my life easier for painting just with a little 240 grit buffer still on hope that doesn't fall off sorry I can't see your comments guys I don't know why they're not showing up for me but I'm sure the other magpies will be on hand to help you out so brush wise it's up to you guys what you want to use you can use your detailer or your striper some people love using their detailer some love using their striper um, I'll probably show you using both, to be honest, just so that you can see. But I'm going to begin with my detailer because this is my favourite for doing my line work. It used to be my striper, but I don't know what happened. I just suddenly started using my detailer. So for this, I find it easiest to start in the centre and then work my way out. If you guys want to start at the top or the bottom, that's totally fine. And all we're going to be doing is just a little roller coaster line. So take it nice and slow. There's no rush at all, guys. If you mess it up, that's fine. You can just wipe it away with your prep and dehydrate. And it'll be grand. So I'm going to begin with my, my purple here. And to load my brush up, I'm going to pull and twist. And pull and twist. And I want quite a good amount of product on my brush. Maybe not that much, I'll drop that that bead off but you want it to be quite swollen because your lines at the top are just going to be slightly thicker at this side than at the bottom so we want quite a good bit of product up there and then as we get to this bend we're going to lift up with our brush and ease off the pressure and as we come round that corner we're going to ease 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 off the pressure so really pay attention to how um hard and and gentle you're using your brush with this design and don't worry if the first one doesn't go perfect so I'm balancing my pinky just there on my fingers and I'm going to start at the top left place that brush down I'm going to pull and then I'm going to push up and then I'm going to pull down and then I'm going to push up again okay so it's not going to be a a massive thick one on the first one but then what we can do is go on with a lot more product and start building up this design so I've got loads of my brush there but I'm keeping it nice and gentle going down slightly up and then down again once you've got the first one on the rest will be a lot easier because you're just following that shape really already got loads of fluff on my nail and then we're just going to thicken up any bits that need thickened up so I want to take this corner and just beef that up a little bit so I'm just going to lay that brush down and pull it in there okay and I'm happy with that thickness she says as she goes and changes it <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's not perfect, guys, because we're going to um, go over it. So I'm going to flash cure that for 10 seconds in the light. And to get rid of this colour on my brush, all I'm going to do, I've just got a, a little bit of um, tissue paper here. And I'm just going to pop that brush in there. And I'm going to gently spin while I'm holding that end. And that's how we're going to clean our brush, okay? You don't want to use any liquids on your brush because it can mess them up and distort the, the hairs and stuff. So, so keep it nice and dry. Then what I'm going to go in with next is our blue. And we're just going to work our way across this nail, guys. So sorry if it's a little bit 
repetitive, but hopefully this will be a nice relaxing design for you guys. Just going to grab a little bit more product on my brush there. Don't know what it is about these little swirly lines that are just quite pleasing to watch, aren't they? I've been seeing loads of them this style on Instagram. I'm just using the tip of my brush. I'm not lying it flat. I'm literally just using the tip and going nice and gentle. Tailing that product off. Okay, so we want to aim for the same thickness on each line. So I'm just going to add a little bit more blue just up at that top bit there, just pull that down ever so slightly. Okay, and then we're gonna pop that into cure. Just 10 seconds, just a flash cure. This is gonna hold that gel in place so that if we did make a mistake, we wouldn't need to, the whole, well, the whole design wouldn't come off. So, on to our next one. I'm gonna go in with my mint gel paint now. Again, let me show you how I'm getting that product off. I'm pulling and twisting and pulling and twisting so that I've got that nail totally loaded up and I've got a good amount of product on there. And placing that product down, nice and gentle, lifting up as I get to that corner. And then pulling it in. Oh, I've gone a bit too over the edge there. It's all right. The good thing about this design is if your lines are a little bit shaky, then it's okay because you can just amend it with the the next colour that you're going to use. Okay, so again, I'm just going to thicken this guy up just a little bit and pull down like that. Okay, how are we getting on, guys? I hope, hope everyone's managing all right. Now, what I'm going to do, you see this little area here that I've just gone overboard. Where's my trusty silicone tool? Your silicone tool is amazing. Do you know, this is probably one of my favourite nail art tools because I do a lot of cleanup, I make a lot of mistakes. So this little guy is super handy because you can just nudge that product in. Because that gel is already cured, it's not going to affect the other sections, okay? So let's pop that one in and we're going to pull that down ever so slightly. I think I am. Okay, another 10 seconds on there. Let me see if I can figure out how to get these comments on so I can see if anybody's asking me anything. Oh, I'm on. Oh, perfect. The other magpie educators are on, guys, so you're all getting looked after. Oh, thank you, Alex. Super sparkly. The chrome one's definitely a magpie one, isn't it? So, Let's jump on to our neon purple next. And then once we've got all these bits on, we can go ahead and add in some little hearts and stars. Nice and gentle, nice and slowly. Just letting that gel and letting that brush do the work for you. Oh, 
I love the neon paints. They're definitely my favorite. They're just so bright and beautiful. Okay. Touch thicker and then I'll be sorted with that one. Reminds me of My Little Pony Nails, isn't it? Do -do 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 -do. Oh, don't worry, Susie. I've done this four times today already. <laughs> That's why it looks easy. I promise you, once you do a design five times, you will be so much better by that fifth attempt. Oh, this tip holder, Alex. I think I might have been naughty, actually, with this tip holder. I don't know if you guys are... <laughs> I don't know if you are allowed to see that. That just clicked with me. I think it might be a secret. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah, if that's a secret. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with my pink now. And then we'll pop on our yellow. Okay. If you go in long strokes, I do find it easier. Don't try and break it up. Usually when I'm doing curved lines, I always like to kind of split it up into sections, but this one's quite nice to just do in a one -er. Just take your time with it. Okay. And we'll pop our yellow on and that'll be us. Okay, last one. That pink and yellow just does bad things to me. I just love it. Such a stunning combination. These remind me of Hudster. Sophie Hud is just neon, your neon gal. Okay, just beefing those lines up just a little bit. Totally wrecked it on the last one, I've totally rushed that. Let's see if I can save it. There we go. Okay, let me pop that one in for a full cure now. I'm gonna pop that in for 60 seconds and then I'm gonna go over the top with Give Me Strength. just so that I can paint on top without mucking all that up. Let me just check on the comments, how are we going on? <laughs> there is no secret, Sarah. They're on the ball, aren't they? Totally on the ball. <laughs> yeah, the pink, just a gradient with the neon, Alex. So what I did was started at the top with the neon pink and then added a little bit of white, and then did the next line, then added a little bit of white, done the next line, a little bit of white, and just repeated that going down the nail. So it's really quite an easy effect to do. You just gradually go down there. I enjoyed that one. <laughs> it's all right, Alex. Yep, the live will be saved, guys. As long as we don't have any technical difficulties. Should be fine. It'll be in the announcement section with everything else. Okay, let's give this a little top coat. Not a top coat, excuse me. Give me strength. Just over the top of this. Just to encapsulate that before we go ahead and pop on our little details. 
Okay, I've gone in quite a lot there. I'm just going to pop that upside down, just so that self-levels nicely. Oh, Kerry, you definitely need to get the gel paints. It is lovely having you on this afternoon's course. That was a really nice workshop. But yeah, you definitely need them. Your wish list is going to be growing and growing and growing. <laughs> Never stops. So I'm going to pop that into Cure 60 Seconds for our Gimme Strength. This is another product that you guys absolutely need if you don't have it. You can use it on your gel overlays. It is what I used for this one to mix with um, each of the, the dusts. I just mixed them together with Gimme Strength and painted with that. Absolutely amazing to paint with. And to be honest, if you do struggle with painting with the gel paints and with the polishes, I would definitely recommend trying using it with the dusts because the consistency that you can get with them is, is really nice to work with as well. Um, and you might just find it a little bit easier to work with that because it's a little bit thicker. So what we're gonna do is grab our Prep and Dehydrate again and we're just gonna wipe that inhibition layer with that. Could you mix pigments with the white gel paint? Oh yeah, 100%. You can mix the pigments and the white to create pastel colours. They are absolutely beautiful to work with as well. Have you guys got your hand on the new baby pigment yet? Because that is an absolute dream. And I'm just going to lightly buff over that section that I'm going to be painting on just so that I can, I can grip on with my brush. And what we're going to do next is our little hearts okay so I've got one at the top here pointing diagonally then I've got one in the center pointing vertically I had to think about that for a second <laughs> and then I got one in the bottom just at a slight angle as well so we're gonna go for that let me get rid of all my pretty gel paints finished with them and we are going to use our white gel paint for this. Now, I know you guys are going to say plus or normal. Well, I'm going to say put both together. Because I'm in Scotland and it is Baltic, my plus can go quite hard um, because it's so cold. So what I like to do is mix them together. It's our fabulous June that, that taught me that. If you... Get your plus. Can you see how thick that plus is? So that is fantastic for super thin lines. You know, if you're doing geometric, if you're doing anything that's super, super fine, fantastic. But if you're covering large sections of the nails, unless you're quite confident with your paint, it can be quite difficult to work with. So this one, this is our normal gel paint. And can you see the difference in consistency? So I'm gonna mix these together, one to one ratio. And because my paints have been so cold, this is gonna be perfect for me. If you guys are in a salon that's warm, you shouldn't have any issues, but purely because I'm cold and it's winter, I'm gonna be mixing them. So, Grab yourself a dotting tool, guys, if you've got one. If not, it's fine. You can still use your detail, detailer brush. And to paint our hearts, what I like to do is get my dotting tool and just do one dot there. And then grab my other section and do one dot there. And then I'm going to grab my detailer brush and I'm going to pull down, and I'm going to pull down, and then I'm going to pull in and fill that out. Okay, so that's how you're going to create that heart. Apologies for the nick of my glass palette. Believe it or not, this is my clean one. <laughs> I'm a messy, messy tech. So what we're going to do, spin that dotting tool around. I've already got a chunk of something. And we're going to start at the top here, and I'm going to do one dot there, 
and then one dot there, okay? Got my little Mickey Mouse ears. Then I'm just getting a tiny bit of paint onto my brush. That's way too much, far too much there. So I'm gonna thin that out a little bit. And then I'm just gonna pull to a point on either side. Again, I'm just using the absolute tip of my brush. And then I'm gonna pull that center down and pull that center down so that it meets. If you need to pull it out, I quite like a chunky heart. Pull it out. Or if you're happy, just pop that into cure. Okay. This guy's looking a little bit flat. So I'm just gonna pull that around. Pop a little bit more product there. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and flash cure that. 10 seconds. Oh, honestly, Alex, I've got hearts coming out my ears. I've been doing the heart workshop, so I think I'm gonna be definitely dreaming about hearts and rainbows tonight. So don't worry if you're not getting it first time or as quick as that, guys. I've been doing this design all day, so don't panic. So I'm just flash queuing that 10 seconds. Now we're just gonna go a little bit smaller and we're gonna go at a slight angle. So I'm gonna pop my heart there and there. Two dots just beside each other. And then just getting a little bit of my paint and pulling that in. Rotate that nail if you need to. And pulling down the center. This one's way too on its side. <laughs> That's all right though. It's a rainbow road, anything goes. Just pulling that out. We want our hearts to be as, to be as symmetrical as possible. So just gently pull out that product if you need to. Using the lightest pressure. And I'm gonna pop that into cure for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna do a really tiny one. But we're just gonna use our detailer brush with this. I'm not actually gonna use my dotting tool for the last one. So if you guys have been struggling with the dotting tool method, you might find this one easier. So what I'm gonna do now is get a good amount of product on my brush so that I've got a ball on the end. And I'm gonna place that brush down. Down and pull in. And do almost like a little petal shape. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. This is how I create a wee baby baby heart. Okay. And pull that to a point and pop that into cure. Then we're gonna do some stars. So again I'm gonna start with my dotting tool. Uh, I'm gonna place just a dot down like that. And then using the product that's in that dot, you are just gonna pull your brush down, across to the side, up, and across to the side, okay? So nice and easy with that one. I say nice and easy, this'll be the one that I mess up. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go round about here. And I think I'll do a little one down here, okay? So, do you know, I might actually use my striper brush for this because my striper is actually a lot finer. 
So I'm just going to pull that product down to the side. And then pull up as well. Doesn't need to be perfect. He's definitely not perfect. And then I'm gonna pull that to the side. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same on the little guy, but I'm just gonna pull it ever so slightly. See how thin you can get those lines using that paint and striper brush. And then pop that in. And then we're gonna pop our dots on. And we will be all sorted. So that's had that little flash cure. And then I'm just going to do a couple of dots with my large end. And then I'm going to do some with my smaller end. Just so that it looks like we've got a little trail going on. Okay, and then we're going to pop that in for a full cure. Do you know what? It feels so strange not using any glitter. No dusts, no combs. Just don't feel right, does it? those lids on this paints. Let me check these comments. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Hope you're okay. Hey, Samantha. <laughs> Your baby's due on Monday. Congratulations, Nicola. Honestly, it's the best thing since sliced bread, that baby. It's absolutely incredible to use. You ordered two, quite right, Megan. Quite right, because it was flying off the shelves. It just makes our life so easy. Do you know, it's so bad to say, but whenever a client would come in and ask for a baby boomer, I'd just say no. <laughs> Not today, honey. And now, after lockdown, they're gonna come in and ask for it, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, sure, no problem. Can do baby boomers all day, every day. So let me just pop on my gimme strength. This layer is just so that we're gonna be nice and smooth. And then I'll pop on my top coat. And that is our rainbow road sorted. Okay. Pop that little guy in 60 seconds. And then top coat I'm gonna be using is Don't Be Tacky. Absolute favourite top coat. I know, right? They're all going to be getting pushed into boomers. And you know what? It'll be this time round that they're like, mm, no, actually, don't want boomers. There'll be some new craze that sends us to Lally, I'm sure. <laughs> Go watch Care Bears. Go for it, Claire. I always get told off because I always watch kiddie films without any kiddies there. <laughs> but I get, I get great comfort from children's films. So you go for it, Claire. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop on my Don't Be Tacky. And again, 60 second cure for that. Okay, I'm just going to hold that upside down just so that it self levels. Okay, and pop that in. So, I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. I hope it wasn't too repetitive for you. Oh, Danielle, super exciting. 
when you have a goal with them, pop your pictures on the group, guys, so that we can see all your, your baby pictures. And if anyone's joined in tonight, please pop your pictures on the group and tag me so that I can see what you've done and put you on my um, my stories and things as well. Oh, you're very welcome, Claire. Thank you all for watching tonight. If you've got any questions at all, please don't be shy. Give us a shout. I will go through the comments after the live um, to see if I've missed anything. Sorry, I couldn't figure out how to get them up at the start. I don't know what I was doing. Yeah, definitely have a go on the chrome one. I think that's my favourite. I do really like the pink gradient one as well. You could do this design with, you know, so many different things. But yeah, that's our favourite product, okay? So I hope that was alright for you guys. <laughs> no problem, guys, at all. You're very welcome, okay? I hope everyone has a lovely rest of their evening. And tune in for our, our next lives. I don't think it's been announced what we're doing next week. So you'll have to keep your eyes peeled on the page. Thank you, guys. Bye.